Happening late this afternoon, the body camera video released by Metro Police showing the chase that led a Metro Police officer to shoot and injure a man accused of domestic violence. The video shows him pointing a gun at police. This all started just seven days ago on Beecher Street, then moved to Camden Avenue in South Louisville near Wyandotte Park. Today, our Ian Hardwit and photojournalist Jessica Farley take us through the new video. Put the gun down! Okay. Put it down okay. now! Drop the okay. freaking gun! Okay. Drop it! Now, you got this is when LMPD officer O'Shea Rogers shot Jerron Bobbitt, the man accused of domestic violence. He's also a convicted felon, so it was illegal for him to have a gun. Bobbitt calls it a toy as the officer kicks it away. This is toy. Police photos show it as an assault pistol. Here's when Rogers arrived on scene. Bobbitt's behind the car door. He runs when police come closer. The chase takes them from Beecher Street, over fences, through yards, and finally onto Camden Avenue. Rogers continues to tell Bobbitt to drop the weapon, but he doesn't. Court documents say Bobbitt was out in the street on top of a woman and beating her. He survived being shot by police after fleeing them. He showed up in court last week, pleading not guilty to the charges of assault, domestic violence, and evading police. You can see Bobbitt's gun on the ground as officers pull out medical equipment to treat him. LMPD Deputy Chief Paul Humphrey praised the new officer for his performance. He, he, officer Rogers just coming out of the academy performed very well. He's very calm. Um, everyone went to work immediately rendering aid to the su suspect. Um, officers went and made contact with the victim to make sure that she was okay and received the aid that, that she needed and the resources that she needed. Humphrey further commended the officer's discipline during the intense encounter. In Louisville, Ian Hardwick, WHAS 11, on your side. LMPD released this video five business days after the shooting. That does meet the department's new policy of releasing body camera video within 10 days. Bobbitt will again appear in court coming up on November 27th.